Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome. Thanks for joining me. This is RJ's Cave and today, well today we were supposed to be doing a, uh, a review, right? It was supposed to be a review of an unboxing we did a few weeks ago, right? For the two or three of you that actually watched that video, besides me, uh, you might remember that we were doing this. Uh, this was the uh, least expensive wireless system you can get for guitars uh, on Amazon, okay, it's by a company called k -Mize. We did the unboxing, and the unboxing went well. Uh, it, we played it, we, test, we tested it out in uh, Amplifier, played it for a few minutes, it was uh, pre-charged, which was good, right out of the box. Uh, simple operation, all that good stuff, didn't feel too cheap in your hands, but so when when we were done with the unboxing, I wanted to make sure that I put and make sure I put it through its paces. You know what I'm saying? Because it's the first real brand new product review on the channel. So I wanted to make sure that I did it. You know, I want I want to do you guys justice. You know what I'm saying? So I put it through its paces, made sure it was fully charged, played it till it died. Uh, charged it up again until it was fully charged. I uh, used it around the house. Uh, I play every day, so uh, for at least a couple hours a day. And I uh, always took it out of the guitar, right? Because of, it doesn't fold or anything. So when you're, it's in the guitar body, it does stick out pretty far. So you have to be aware of that. Not a huge deal if you're used to having guitar cables sticking out of guitar bodies like I am. Uh, someone who's new. At playing though, they might forget. So, but so anyway, after about a week of, of using this, it died. It started cutting out. It was the uh, here. It was this side? Okay, so that's the amplifier side. From putting it in and taking it out, because you really you don't want to leave it in. So you take it out, right? Normal thing. So, it started uh, shorting out on me. It'd be playing, and then stop. Tap it, it would go back on again, or it would cut in and out, cut in and out. So, it was time to go. Thankfully, Amazon, uh, I had Amazon Prime for 30 days, so uh, I said, okay, great. Uh, send me a new one. They sent me a new one, and I sent the old one back. So, this is the new one. You would think the new one would be good. Should be, right? Well, not so much. So what happened is, you know, you get open a box, all that stuff, and uh, plug it in. And after a couple seconds of playing, short it out. Oh, okay. Let me see. I gotta just, you know, make sure it's connected. Boom. Play again. Works for a couple minutes and shorts out again. Okay, so I gotta keep doing that. Okay, this is a problem. So I tested it for a while and just to try and troubleshoot. And basically what this one turned out being is the, I believe there's not enough I believe there's not enough of this sticking out of this, this part of the unit to actually make a full connection in the sleeve inside the input jack. All right, because it's kind of shaped like the opposite to this, uh, designed to give a little resistance so that when you push through, it stays there. This isn't really seating well enough to be held well enough to stay there. It's popping out just slightly. So... So this one's got to go back. Only now Amazon's policy is to just give you a refund. I, mean, I guess it's their way of making sure they're not playing around with jokers. So I have to send this back and I get my $28.30 back. Now, it's a shame that this happened because for the price, up until the first one went, it was a pretty good unit. 
I actually took it out. Uh, well, I didn't take it outside. I was, I, I was trying to get to a point to take it outside when I was, when it th started dying. And then I decided I wasn't going to, but I did, I have a basement apartment and a concrete building. So I, I did have it in my bedroom and I ran out two rooms, two walls over and it was fine. And then I ran outside of the main entrance way and up the stairs a few steps so that I was blocked by a brick wall and it worked fine. The only issues throughout the whole thing were the first unit felt like it was making the tone a little bit higher pitched than it was originating as, but then it went away after the unit uh, was played a little bit, but this could have been just me being picky. I don't know, but it doesn't matter anyway. So, uh, yeah, it could, it could have been good. I mean, it's just, I think what happens with these things is they have a little PC board inside and they can only solder so much on those boards. It's only specific little spots that they can connect to. And if you don't do it right or with enough solder, or if it's done, you know, if it's done in a hurry, they're not, the connections aren't well made. They don't end up sitting in there because I think they're just kind of like soldered in or, 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 or seated in such a way that the shape of the unit, the inside of the unit forms around that piece. And so it's not supposed to move. So eventually they move, you know? So... I wanted to be able to tell you guys to pick this up. I really can't. If this had happened with one unit and the second unit was perfectly fine, then I might still have no problem telling you guys to pick one up. You know, just tell you maybe to be careful, get the extra warranty or whatever, you know, but that for the most part, it felt, it would have felt like this was just a one-off error and I got it and, and it was fixed with the, uh, a new unit. You know what I mean? Now, after two units in a row and this second one out of the box doesn't work right, then that tells you, tells me that there might be more going on. So I can't tell you guys that this is something you want to pick up. So if you do decide to pick this up, you, 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 be careful, all right, guys. This you're doing this at your own risk, and what you're risking is about if you're like me and you're in New York and you have to pay internet sales tax, you're paying about twenty eight dollars and change. For the, there's a, a couple other units for sale for just a couple of dollars more that might be better. So I wouldn't risk it on this. You might want to take a look and see if the other reviews for other ones that are. Cause there's one for $27. There's one for $29. There's one for $30 and change. You know, it's Amazon. There's, there's, there's going to be a, a whole bunch of these things. Uh, so just, I would not get the one that's $25.99 that at least currently is marketed with the K Mize label. I've actually since found reviews of this same unit without a brand name on it as well over here on YouTube. And, uh, you, well, you'd have to look those up yourself, but guys, I'm sorry. Can't recommend this. So while we're here, think about, uh, think about liking the channel, liking the video and subscribing to the channel and, and, uh, hitting the notification bell. Okay. Because when you do that, you get messages whenever we drop a new video and we're dropping them now about uh, I'm trying to do three times a week, Friday, Saturday, Sundays, uh, that may drop off to just Friday and Sunday at some point, but th they're fairly frequent. You're going to want to check them out. So especially if you're a beginner, because I'm going to be doing more and more stuff about you guys. And I want to know what you guys need help with, uh, the secondary support stuff, uh, things that you just don't understand that need a little explaining, that kind of stuff. Hit it in the comments. Let me know what's going on, what you need help with. Uh, I don't want you guys getting frustrated and, and putting down the guitar. The, the goal here is for me to help you guys keep playing. So if you got a problem of any kind, if I can help you out, please, by all means, uh, put it in the comments, all right? If I can do it, I will, all right? Now, with that said, thank you very much, guys. Uh, 
this is going to be it. I really appreciate you sticking around to the end like this. Uh, always remember, guys, this music journey we're on, we have an opportunity to make, ma make magic, right? If you think about it, the, 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 uh, music is the closest thing we have in the real world to magic, right? Because you can change somebody's day in a heartbeat. If you know a song that, like, really hits, hits them right, you know what I'm saying? So be motivated. Go out there. Learn how to make music so you can make magic. We need more magic in the world, especially these days, right? Anyway, listen, this has been RJ's Cave. Thanks again for being here, guys. Take it easy. Later.